Hi everyone, welcome to day three of our 30 day personal brand growth plan. So basically what we're doing is over the next 30 days, we're basically looking at an action step each day. The idea is that we develop an, an action plan or a growth plan in this case to actually look at the design, deployment and domination of your personal brand within your marketplace. And so for the first 10 days, I'm actually taking the steps, the 10 action steps from the Brand Yourself Action Plan, one of our training programs, and I'm just giving them to you in a bite size. So ordinarily, each action step is a two hour training and then there's a workbook and a work journal that you work through. However, just for this 30 day growth plan, I've actually orchestrated, I guess, for the first 10 days to look at Brand Yourself Action Plan, second 10 day section looking at Brand Yourself the Expert, and then the third 10 days looking at Brand Yourself the Authority. And really the idea is I love plans and I love planning and there's some really great statistics or research that says that if you spend two hours planning, you will save eight hours work. So to strategically and systematically build your persuasive and most compelling personal brand, it's great to have a plan. And so this action plan is really about discovering, defining and creating a captivating and compelling personal brand, your brand. And you might be wondering, well, who am I? So my name is Rachel Quilty and I am the author of the book Brand Yourself. I am a personal brand strategist, brand management consultant and more recently a filmmaker qualified director. And so the idea is that over the last 20 years, I've really created a lot of momentum around the industry personal branding. And I guess why I became quite prominent in the industry about 10 years ago was one, I had written a book and two, I was changing or becoming a bit of a thought leader in this space as I was moving it from professional image and your personal signature style into this space where we'll applying big business principles to your personal brand. And so I was able to get, as a result, interviews on Channel 9, interviews on various radio stations, uh, as well as radio stations, Voice America in the US and uh, speaking engagements in the US, Las Vegas as well. So as a result, I really became known as the authority on personal branding. And that's exactly where I want you to be in your field of expertise, in your marketplace, to be recognized as the authority. And the idea of this personal growth or personal brand growth plan is to provide you with the components so that you can build a personal, powerful personal brand, create a brand that attracts opportunities, develop a personal brand that reflects your potential and your goals, differentiate your brand as well as brand yourself in your as the authority in your marketplace or your field, as I mentioned. So you might be wondering, well, what are the benefits of having a great personal brand. Well, the right personal brand improves your business credibility and positioning, increases your confidence and effectiveness, will improve your communication, increase your persuasiveness, earn you improved market standing or market share, and help you achieve your business goals. And one of the things that uh, if you are really focused on your personal brand, you'll find that your productivity and performance really explodes. One of the, and like I, I'm saying here, it really can accelerate your success. So you can have instant credibility and celebrity. You can create a brand that attracts clients and promoters and joint venture opportunities. You can gain a competitive edge. You can premium price yourself and brand yourself as the authority. So the Brand Yourself Action Plan, I really call it, it a secret to success because it really is the foundation, the 10 action steps that are foundation to building a really incredible personal brand, an iconic personal brand. And so within the Brand Yourself Action Plan, let me just jump, walk through these action steps so you can see where we've been and where we're going to. So action step number one, we considered discovering your existing personal brand. Action step number two, we considered determining your brand targets audience. Action step number three, 
define your personal brand, your true personal brand. So we're going to look at that today. Action step number four, design your unique personal brand. Action step number five, dominate your marketplace as the authority. Action step number six, develop your brand signature style. Action step number seven, devise your personal brand's marketing plan. Decide your or action step number eight is to decide your desired outcomes, resources, and skill set. Action step number nine, deploy your personal brand message. And action step number 10, deliver your personal brand promise. So that's our first 10 days and we're at day three. And really when you're thinking of your personal brand and what your goals should be, it should be about targeting the best prospects, developing a unique market niche, positioning your business as the best solution, maintaining visibility and credibility, becoming the only choice brand. So let's dive into this. Day three, um, this is our action step. Number three, define your true personal brand. Personal branding is defining your, your dreams and putting them into action. Your personal brand is the outer workings of your life purpose. And so I often say that your life experiences and life lessons are aligned to your life purpose and your life mission. And I qualify that by saying it really does include life lessons because you can have life experiences which may never ever turn well. They are intended potentially for your purpose and your mission. But if you miss the mark and you don't appreciate that these, th this life experience has provided you an opportunity to share a solution or be an inspiration or be a role model for somebody else, then you might miss your brand purpose and your brand mission. So I always talk about making sure that you get your life lessons as well. And, you know, we've all experienced the hardship of life. So it's about just seeing the, the, those brand moments, though, that within your brand journey that really creates a brand solution and a brand story that becomes um, an inspiration and a solution for your clients and prospects and, and followers in the future. So action step number three has three distinct parts. And so part A is the vision and the mission. Part B is the skill set. And part C is the mindset. So you really need to have all these aspects or parts coming together to actually support your overall brand. And it really does make a lot of sense. I'm just going to touch on part A for this purpose because really I think Part B and Part C, your skill set and your mindset, that speaks to, uh, you know, a common sense approach to branding. So Part A, when we consider the vision and the mission, truly successful people who have built great personal brands dominating their niche or niche brought a true sense of purpose to their work and that passion is an essential part of their personal brand. So if we want to think about what is a good brand and how we create a true personal brand. It really must give a good first impression. It's easy to remember. It evokes positive associations. So if you're thinking of a brand movement or a mission that's quite great, then you really want to be able to capture the attention and positive um, associations and create a lot of uh, goodwill um, as part of your personal brand. So the thing that most people don't appreciate is how quickly we actually can make a make we make judgments very quickly. Some say six seconds, it's really microseconds in my book. So we're and look, there's studies that go from seconds to you know a minute. We're making judgments. We're we're making stereotypical decisions about people within that first impression. And so we make the decisions which are whether we like people, whether we trust people, whether we want to do business with people, whether we want to spend time with them. So really critical that when we're designing our true personal brand, that we're getting all these elements uh, correct so that we become, that first impression is positive and it's lasting and it's memorable and it's got good associations and we evoke trust and goodwill as part of that. Okay, so I'm Let's round this up. So head over to Brand Yourself Blueprint, download a copy of Jump the Q's free personal brand 
audit, which is a Brand Yourself Blueprint uh, workbook and work journal. Read the workbook, complete the work journal. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or drop a comment in Facebook. Um, you can go across to the Facebook group, Jump the Queue, and you'll see there there's an actual guide that has each of the days that are now being posted and the, the presentation that goes with it is supporting it. So dive over there. So that's Facebook group, Jump the Queue. And that's the public one. You'll see that you can um, access the guides there and these videos will be there as well. So that free resource again is at Brand Yourself Blueprint. So thank you everyone for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow.